Hey, so I figured it'd be easiest just to kind of show you uh, some of the differences between the way I normally build websites and uh, the Gutenberg sites that I've been building a little bit more recently. So I can show you some of the uh, pros and cons there. So my own website is not built using Gutenberg. So I'll show you that first here. So we obviously have a home page with various content on it. And the way that I build that on the back end um, is it's kind of like a big long email form or something where there's little boxes that you fill in, little toggles to, to turn different things on or off. Um, so you're not really seeing what you're seeing on the front end, you're just entering content into boxes. And once you publish the page, uh, then with code, I have it actually go to the right spots on the page and look the way that it's supposed to look. So um, some of the advantages of that are it's really consistent. So since you don't have a lot of different options here and different toggles that you need to click, uh, you only have the important stuff. Um, and that allows uh, every page to be much more consistent because there's not a bunch of toggles you need to remember to click. It also can be a little bit faster because as far as the code goes, um, it just needs to know about this field here, grab this content and slap it into the right spot. So um, it's a little bit more distinct pieces of information that get stored in the database. That's a little bit, uh, can be a little bit quicker for the page to render, although it's not a, a huge difference. Um, so those are some of the, the main advantages here. And then um, one other advantage is it is uh, quite a bit faster to build because um, just adding this style of editing interface on the back end of the site, I don't need to do any special styling or functionality or anything. This just kind of comes with the advanced custom field plugin. So I spend most of my time building the front end of your website, the part that people uh, actually see and visit and click around on. And then I can uh, save time by not spending a lot of time um, customizing this uh, backend experience for you entering the code. So, or sorry, entering the, the content here. So that's a normal website that I would build. Um, what I've been doing more recently are using uh, Gutenberg blocks. So here is a website that I built uh, just recently. So we have all these different sections of content. But instead of seeing all of these different square boxes when I go to the back end of this page to edit the content, instead I see kind of a visual representation of the page itself. So the main advantage of Gutenberg is it's really easy to edit content. So I can say like, uh, we, um, uh, I don't know, Epic delivers. So now I can preview that a second here and take a look at what that looks like. And it says Epic delivers instead, but I don't even necessarily need to click the preview button because I can literally edit it here and get some of my spacing down and other things. Um, if I go down to one of these more complex features here, so this is kind of tabs with different content on them, you'll see inside of Gutenberg, uh, I kind of have a visual representation of what that looks like. And if I click on it, then it kind of expands so I can edit all of these and don't need to actually click through them. Uh, but yeah, again, it's just this editable content. Um, you have a whole bunch of options as far as all the content you can add here. So if I want to add a, a heading at the bottom here, I can. Just gives you a lot more flexibility. So again, that can cause to some inconsistencies if you have some crazy content editor going in there and adding headings in weird places or other things. Um, that's not really a, an option for something that's a, a little bit more controlled, uh, like the advanced custom fields. Um, but it does give you that flexibility. So flexibility of editing and uh, a slightly easier editing experience is you can kind of see what it is that you're editing on the back end here as if it were the front end are kind of the two main advantages uh, to using Gutenberg. So it does take a lot longer to build um, mainly because uh, I need to go in and add extra code that controls how all of these different things work. So for instance, I needed to build all of these where you can move these pins around and change the text and all of that. So I end up kind of building the front end that your users visit and click around on, which I always have needed to do, but then also I need to build out the back end so that the editing experience kind of represents uh, a similar, similar look and feel to what's on the front end. So um, that should give you a good idea of some of the, the pros and cons.